Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about button control and how we can use buttons to trigger animations. So button is a control that initiates an action. Now, one of the ways to create button is by providing an action and a label. The action is either a method or it's a closure property that does something when a user clicks or taps on the button. Now, label is a view that actually describes what the button's actions are. Now, button is another place where we can trigger our animation. So let's go ahead and take a look at with an example where we're gonna create an animation scene uh, to sort of open an envelope and display a document. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna create a state property first. And then we're gonna basically start adding some of the views to build our experience. So I'm gonna start with a V stack. This V stack is going to host a Z stack where we're gonna show our images for our envelope and the document. And there's gonna be a button, which is when clicked or tapped, basically gonna open or toggle the show message uh, Boolean variable. We're gonna to simply toggle the show message. Okay, now what we're gonna do inside the Z stack is we're gonna have two images stacked on top of each other. So first image is gonna be a an envelope uh, that we're gonna basically based on the show message state, whether it's gonna be open or closed. Okay, so SF symbol has images for both of them. So we're gonna simply say show message when it is true, show envelope dot open dot fill. But if the show message is false, then we just want to show envelope dot fill. Okay, now we want to basically set a font so. I'm going to say font for this guy is going to be a system size and the size is going to be 120 points. Okay, so our envelope is big enough. And then we're going to set a foreground style and we're going to use color dot orange dot gradient as the color for this envelope. Okay, now our next image is going to set on the top of this guy. So we're gonna say image because this is a Z stack. Uh, basically the views stack on top of each other. That's why it's gonna sit on the top. We're gonna have a system name image called doc dot plain text dot fill. Okay, so as you can see, there is a tiny bit image that's showing up uh, in the center of the screen. So we're gonna make this resizable. And we're gonna set a frame for this guy. And we're gonna say the width for this document is gonna be 110 points. And the height is going to be 110 points. So it's essentially like a square. Now, we wanna set the foreground style for this. So we're gonna say foreground style. And this is gonna be basically color dot mint dot gradient or just dot mint dot gradient next we're going to set an offset for this and we're going to use the offset overload that takes x and y value so we're going to simply say y value is going to depend upon where the show message what the show message state is so we're going to say show message is true then the um sorry show message is true then the offset is going to be negative 60. So move our view slightly up, otherwise zero. So if you notice right now, it's actually kind of jumping up. Okay. 
and uh, we can actually fix that with the animation but we also don't want to show the document when the envelope is closed so for that reason we're going to actually apply an opacity on the show message and we're going to say opacity is going to be basically 1.0 or the document is fully visible when the opacity when the show message uh, is true essentially like you know we are saying that show message is true show the document show message is false hide the document okay so this is the effect that we get okay now so far so good but our document is sort of like um, just appearing okay so we can add an animation uh, modifier to this and we can say we want to add a spring animation with damping fraction as 0 0.5 okay the value that we want to track uh, for this animation is going to be show message and with that let's go ahead and see how our view actually looks like so as you can see our it it almost looks like our envelope is basically being open and the document is jumping out okay so this effect is basically what we have created and if you notice the trigger for this whole animation is basically the button so we are using the button to drive the animation and all the properties that we have defined they are animating nicely together so for example we have this opacity that is animating we also have the offset that is animating so document almost like basically starts from here slowly slides up while it's basically becoming fully visible and it when you close the document it's basically uh, hiding it uh, back okay now you can change this messaging so for example you can say show message if it is true basically we want to say close and um, close envelope okay otherwise open envelope okay so we are not only just changing the um, uh, changing the envelope state but we are also changing the button what is called so open and close all right Okay, so with that, we have reached the end of this video where we actually explored another way of triggering the animation. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about stepper control, which is another control that is like used to basically trigger animations. And we're going to create a really cool effect using the stepper control. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.